Hey guys, hope you're all having a great day. So in today's video, I'm going to be planting this pine tree that is right behind me. I'll get into all the details in a minute. And it's going in this back area, which is actually a new area that we are creating, starting off with this pine. So let me show you this area first, and then I'll talk a little bit about what this pine is. So if you saw these behind me, these are the arborvitaes that we planted about two years ago. And we have this bed in front, which there's actually nothing in right now. I'm not going to get into all the details of it, but long story short, we basically cut out where we want this bed to go, which originally ended right there, and we continued it out this way. So you can see kind of the edge of the bed here. It goes out this way, circles around, and then stops right at about where that metal pole is for the fence. A little bit of grass, next bed continues. So right in the center of this bed here is where we're going to be planting that pine. Standing from the other side, as you can see, there is a river birch tree in our neighbor's yard. There's a couple of other things, but you can see the houses are still very well seen from our yard. There's a few large trees, but not a lot, and there was nothing in our yard when we moved in. So I figured by putting an evergreen here that doesn't get too big, it's not going to interfere too much with the birch, but it'll create a nice space here where we're not really going to see too much behind here, and it helps kind of enclose this space a little bit. And this is a very special pine, which I was really looking forward to getting. So this is called a variegated Japanese red pine, which is Pinus densiflora, and the specific cultivar is Oculus draconis. What's really cool about this pine is instead of just being a regular Japanese red pine, this actually has yellow as like half of the needle, as you can see, half of it's yellow, half of it's green, and it takes on quite a stunning look as it gets older. So it looks great now, but it's only going to look a lot better in the future. It's also starting to put on some growth, so you can see all of these candles. That's what they, these are called on a pine. Um, they're really starting to grow. In fact, they've grown a lot since um, I first got this pine, maybe about a month ago. But it's probably from the bottom of, or the top of the pot to the top of the plant, it's probably about three to four feet, I would say. So this is actually a smaller, irregular growing pine. It doesn't grow nearly as big as a lot of other pines. You can kind of think of like a Japanese white pine as something similar to this, but naturally it gets about 25 feet tall and a little bit less wide. So maybe like 20 feet wide in the end. I've seen a range anywhere from 20 to 40 feet tall. So I'm gonna say about 25 feet. That's what this tag says right here. And living in New England, it's probably gonna be about that size. But you can see it puts on a decent amount of growth every year. So this tree probably isn't too old. I'm sure it's not more than maybe about like five years old or so. Um, and I think it's going to fill in this space quite quickly. Since there's grass here, we're going to cut out a big hole where the grass is. We're eventually going to mulch this whole bed, probably the next month or so. But for today, I'm going to put in a little bit of compost um, and some biotone starter fertilizer in the hole. And then we're going to mulch around just so that way the grass doesn't grow around the plant. All right, let's get this pine on the ground. Okay, so the pine is in the ground, so let's take a look at it. For right now, I just have a little bit of mulch around the base of it, and I did make sure to plant it high enough so that way the mulch doesn't choke it out. There's also not really any mulch around the base of the plant, just a tiny, tiny layer, um, but it's pretty much just the top layer of soil that's there anyways. Um, this pine has some lower branches as well. That was kind of the one thing I wanted to mention about this that are kind of against the ground there, like they're actually touching the mulch at the bottom. And I'm gonna leave them like that. This is the type of pine where if you don't really limit up, just like a lot of trees, um, it'll kind of just grow against the ground. But I want it to do that. I want it to fill up this space. Like eventually this entire circle is actually just going to be the pine. Um, so I'm very much looking forward to that. But 
you may find this tree if you're looking for it yourself kind of looking like this and if you want it to actually see the trunk um, then you can cut off like maybe these two lower branches I would have done and leave the rest for now and then in a couple of years got rid of some more of those lower branches uh, but I'm gonna let it grow just like this so since I'm planting this in about mid-may the next like week or two it's only supposed to be in the 60s maybe some 70s for temperatures which is actually like the best uh, planting conditions for this because it's not going to dry out too fast I'm gonna water it every day for the next maybe like few days week or so and then after that I'll just water it every few days and give it a deep watering every few days so that way it can encourage this tree to put roots deeper into the ground rather than be babied by the hose. Okay, so that's pretty much all I'm gonna do for now. Um, I used a bag of topsoil and half a bag of composted cow manure. I also forgot to use the biotone, but it's not really necessary, so I'm not too concerned about it. Um, and we're just gonna watch it grow. And then if there's any other issues that come up, then I'll definitely address it and let you guys know. So besides that, hope you guys like this video and I will see you in the next one.